Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to your weekly horoscope. I'm Ivy Rivera, psychic medium. I'm also a Taino air walk, and I use a combination of channeling of spirits, my psychic abilities, and information coming from planetary movements to conduct your weekly horoscopes, which are ranging this week from Monday, August 3rd to Monday, August 10th. Enjoy. Scorpios, what is going on with you for this week? On Monday the 3rd, there's talk of maternal energy, living or deceased, either coming in and offering support and advice to you or you needing to care for and keep an eye on them. So take it both ways. Tuesday the 4th and Wednesday the 5th, there's a mutual theme on both of these days and it has to do with your resources or your money and where you're putting it. I do feel like it should be put away or saved for a later time. We could also say that this is a time to consider where you are investing and this could also be talking about your energy level as a resource. There's talk on Tuesday the 4th about you being in debate. And this type of debate felt almost like a conflict within yourself because maybe you have too many opportunities, maybe you have too many directions of interest, or uh, if we're talking about a um, relationship, it could also be happening in this. But for many of you, it felt to me like it had to do with your life choices or your career. You may feel pulled in multiple directions. And what Spirit is recommending is that you pay attention to the guidance that's being given to you on Tuesday the 4th and Wednesday the the fifth and into the evening hours or in the later afternoon on Wednesday the fifth there's talk of a conclusion that you're going to have to draw you have enough evidence you have all the data that you need all the research is there you need to pursue whatever it is that you feel is within your life contract, meaning what you signed on to before you came to earth. It is very possible that you're being pulled in multiple directions and only one is really part of your life contract or that you're being pulled because those are old ideas or an old relationship. On Thursday the 6th, there is talk of babies. So some of you may be bringing in a new child or a family member, even a pet. Uh, Babies can also represent a new job or a new project, a new um, hobby that becomes somewhat of a a side hustle. Um, We would talk about the launch of a new business here as well. And I feel a lot of prosperity there with that. There's also talk later on that day about a door being shut. And as soon as this door shuts, another door opens. So another way of saying that is that in order for a new door to open for you at that time, a separate door will have to be shut. On Friday the 7th, Saturday the 8th, and Sunday the 9th, there is a mutual theme going on all three of those days. And it has to do with you being steadily focused on the path ahead of you, not being distracted by obstacles, by um, lower, darker energies in the universe trying to shoot arrows at you, by naysayers that are around you, or silly, petty circumstances that are trying to take your attention and energy away from what you should be focused on. So just be very mindful about how you're responding to those types of things. Stay focused. You are going in the right direction. On Sunday the 9th, I see you having um, some type of an opportunity that looks like an advancement in your work, with your resources, with your money. Um, For some of you, this could also be in a relationship. And I feel great about that. I do feel that it has in a lot of ways been earned or been waiting. On Monday the 10th, as well as Sunday the 9th, I'm seeing a bit of a mutual theme there also with love. And uh, I think it's important that you are looking at your romantic partnership or family, friends, anyone in your close circle, anyone who's really important and special in your heart, as whether or not any of them are sort of handicapping themselves. If 
they're handicapping themselves, they may be handicapping you as well. Are you feeding and enabling them in any way? You're going to want to put some restriction on that because where you're headed, you can't be outsourcing your energy. It's almost like leaky holes in a boat. Um, you can't be going down with that. So set proper boundaries on that day, clean it up. There's also talk of everyone wanting a piece of you on Monday the 10th. So whether it's at work, it's with friends, it's with you know family, um, other people who just want your advice. It's like everybody wants a piece of you. Everybody loves what you know, what you have to offer, what you have to say. And a lot of people just want to be around. I, f I feel like um, your humor, your healing nature on that day. And you're going to have to say, uh, well, that's great. I'm honored. But what do I really want? Scorpios have a great week.